Okay, y'all, so I just finished, let me zoom in. I just finished doing, well, blow drying out my hair. And this is what we're looking like. I'm so proud because y'all remember, um, maybe two years ago, I cut like my ends and stuff. So it's finally almost back to the same length before I dyed my hair, which is amazing. But y'all, I don't know if y'all can see, but I need this side of my hair to read the room. Read the room. What's going on? Look at this. Look. Um, so I was thinking about cutting it again so it can be even because I thought this side was equally as damaged, but it's just this side. And I don't know. Am I tripping? Am I the only one seeing this? Like I I need you to read the room. Read the room. And get it together. It's not that bad. It's just this side is not as full as this side is. And I think if I continue to just not put any heat on it, like I just did by bow drying, but keeping it in braids this summer, it should be fine. So, yeah. But, yeah, I'm so happy with it. But you need to read the room. You need to go to English class because we throw Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing, no such thing. Heart beating fast, let a nigga know that he alive. Fake niggas, mad snakes, snakes in the grass, let a nigga know that he arrived. Don't be sleeping on your level, cause it's beauty in the struggle, nigga. Goes for all y'all. It's beauty in the struggle, nigga. It's beauty in the struggle, ugliness in the success. Hear my words and listen to my signal of distress. I grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less. Compared to some of my niggas down the block, man, we were blessed. And life can't be no fairy tale, no once upon a time. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess Nicole. If you're new, welcome to another weekend vlog. Oh, I thought the door was locked. Welcome to another weekend vlog. Um, so, oh, welcome to May too. Happy May. Good vibes for your whole May. Um, so, we don't have anything major planned this weekend. The only exciting thing is well, I guess it is major. The only thing exciting 
is for tomorrow, Mackenzie and I are going with her Girl Scouts troop there where we are actually spending the night at the zoo. So the Baton Rouge Zoo, um, they have something that you can book. It's called Safari Night. Well, I don't know if anyone can book it. I don't know if it's just for Girl Scouts or not. But we are spending the night at the zoo. So they have a bunch of stuff planned for us. Um, and their rules are pretty strict. Like we can't bring any outside food. Can't bring any like flashlight. Well, I can't have a flashlight. The adults can't. I'm chaperoning. But the kids, they can't have like any electronics. We can't bring like the the list is pretty extensive. Um, but they said we were going to be sleeping in the education center, and that we could bring like an air mattress, obviously, because we have to sleep on the floor. And um, I don't have an air mattress, so I ex asked in the Girl Scout troop what size air mattress and they said possibly like a twin size because the room that we're going to be in is like a class room size. So I did purchase a air mattress yesterday, a twin size air mattress and I'll show y'all um, probably later on in this video but I'll show y'all the clip of us in Walmart right up here or right here last night. So I grabbed that last night. I do need to grab um, some ponchos because it may be raining and I gotta remember to bring my umbrella. So some ponchos and then I want to go get a flashlight because I don't know where my flashlight is. It's a mystery. I don't even know where my flashlight is. So and other than that like some change of clothes some they don't have any showers so I guess we just not taking a shower tomorrow night. Oh, what do you have? I'm not, I have a flash out right here, but it just needs some batteries. But I do need to go get some ponchos and batteries. But right now we're about to head out to the Girl Scout, their regular meeting. And they're also going to be joined with another scout today. They're doing their gardening activity. And then they're also doing something in the field today. So, yeah, that should be pretty fun for McKenzie. I'll record what I can. And also, for the safari night, I'll record what I can, but it's gonna be kind of finicky because we're gonna be with kids, and of course, people don't want their kids all on the internet, and like, especially on somebody else's page. So, I'll vlog, I'll do what I can do um, to let you guys know what's going on so you can see what's going on. Um, oh, and while Daddy is crying, while we're there, um, Daddy is going to be with her grandparents, my mom and dad, so um, they're going to keep her and feed her and stuff, so that's going to be nice. But let me go put some shoes on. I need to put something on my lips, and then we're going to head out to, I need to go to the library, because my printer, I think I'm out of ink, so I need to go print out the permission slip to bring to the troop leader, and then... If I have enough time before the meeting, I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree to grab some ponchos and some batteries. So, let go. I forgot to tell y'all, so I just finished my hair. I, I'm, I'm gonna um, insert the clips of me actually doing my hair, but this is how it came out. My parts are not completely straight, but I, I low key, I don't mind it at all. It's just a part on this side that's kind of ridiculous, but you know, as long as my hair is braided up and put away, I'm fine. And my actual, like my natural hair is actually thriving right now because it was damaged. So it's getting back to its healthy or healthier state. Um, so yeah, but this is my hair. I really like the ends. And this is probably gonna last about a week before I get tired of it and want to take it out so which is fine because I have to go to my niece's graduation next week so probably after next weekend I'm gonna be taking this out and we're gonna be done with it and on to the next and I'll just put in another hair I need to clip my ends so I might straighten my hair next week in depends on how the weather is because I really do need to go ahead and clip my ends so that my hair could continue growing um i just put some sunscreen on in case y'all see my face and you're like what the heck is that so i just put 
some sunscreen on because I'm about to go outside, which it should be fun. Maybe I should take a little, which I hate that, um, not hate, that's a strong word, but I don't too much like that sunscreen that comes with my, um, what is that, Curology? Like, the, that's the Curology sunscreen, and it's not my favorite, so, yeah. But I'm about to head out now, y'all. Put my lip gloss on. And we gonna vibe out. Hold on, y'all. Okay. I want a salad, so I might stop the well, yeah, I am gonna stop to Walmart and give me a a salad. Let me make sure. Let me see how much money I have on this card. All right, bye, y'all. Oh, this one was fire last time. Who said you was getting one, though? I'm gonna get a margarita pizza for dinner tonight. First of all, because I don't have any actual groceries to cook anything. Looking for a margarita pizza. Oh, never mind, I found it. Get that margarita pizza up there. It's on this one. No, California Pizza Kids Kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Close the door. Thank you, Jimmy. You can see him. Like, be for real, if anything. Hey, y'all. So, we are out of walk. Mm. Call come back kind of fast, huh? We are out of Walmart. And I don't know if I just not realized this today, but that I went to a neighborhood Walmart and that neighborhood Walmart, the one on, I think this is Highway 32. And then it don't have, they don't have like ready to eat salads. They have like salad kits, but they don't have ready to eat salads because I really wanted a salad. So Mackenzie and I, wait, let me put my seatbelt on first. Yeah, I can talk. We picked up our go-to little Lunchable things. We upgraded, baby. We don't get the regular Lunchable. Well, my kids still get that one from time to time. But we get the uh, small plates. I hate coming out this way because they really need a light right here. But we get the small plates. And this, was, this one is the high calorie salami with the gouda cheese and toasted rounds and it's only 310 calories Ooh, they had all that fat but it doesn't have that much sugar it's not that good for you i'm trying to make it seem like it's good for you but it's not mine only has 40 percent fat but it's only 40 percent that's a lot that's almost half But this is what we got to eat. And I picked up a margarita pizza, so I'll eat that. But the thing is, I didn't eat lunch today, so. She's starving. Yeah, not really. 
really, but really. And I think you have to have pizza at Girl Scouts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully I'm not late. We are leaving Girl Scouts. Excited about tomorrow. But Mackenzie, do you want to tell them what you did today at Girl Scouts? Okay. So we had um, made a craft, and it was for Mother Mother's Day. And I had made uh, a flower. So we took our flower pots, then we put soil, and then we took our flower with their root and we just dug it into the soil and then we put some more soil on top so it'll be like um, stable and then we got to pick out our flowers so yeah and later tonight I have to water them but I don't know what I'm going to do with that but I'll make something do I have to put in sunlight or something? yeah they love heat But like heat and a little bit of water. But yes, y'all. So that's what they. Oh, they also play kick. Was it kickball, y'all? Yeah. Kick they also. Huh? Kickball. They also played kickball today. Um. So yeah, today's meeting was really fun. They were with another troop because they are. The yeah, they're bridging. Well, McKenzie's a brownie, and they're bridging to uh, juniors. Y'all going to be juniors? Mm -hmm. And then the juniors, they're going to be... I don't know. They're going to be uh, the mints or something. Mints? The mints. Thin mints? No, the mints. Okay. They're going to be the mints. And, yeah, so that's why they um, came to their meeting today. What else? Oh, I was chilling with the parents. And we got a new room. Chatting it up. Oh, yeah, they got a new room. Um, Girl Scouts meeting room, so that's fun. Um, so, yeah, I'm about to go home. Get prepared for tomorrow. So I won't have to do that tomorrow. Because I do want to work on my cases tomorrow before I leave. So... I have to get Dahlia situated because she's going to her grandparents, like I told y'all. And then I'm just going to pack your stuff. We're going to pack our stuff together because we it's not much. Yeah, for 
can't believe but of course I'm gonna pack some wipes and stuff because they don't have a shower so we're just gonna have to wipe the important parts and extra pair of underwears if you want to change your underwear because I think you're going to be doing a scavenger hunt or something. So it's going to be sweating. So. Yeah. Oh, I thought those people standing right there. <laughs> I'm super bummed that we can't bring snacks in. The thing is, I don't really eat snacks at night anyway, but the fact that you took, took them Look at Kyle's, look at all those Kyle's. Yeah, we live, we're so country. Anyway. But the fact that you're depriving me of it makes me want it, want it even more. So now I like, I want, I want snakes. Because they ain't gonna tell me I can't get no snakes. What are we doing? Unless you, you can only sneak the snacks. Can you turn them off? I'm, I'm gonna be a rule follower. But can't you even tell me my hair was cute? I know my words quickly, but can you even tell me my hair was cute? Is it really? Yeah, it is. Actually. Thank you. Thank you, girl. I can't stop this. Now here's a closer look of I me, mean, yeah, of the flower McKenzie. I don't know what type of flower this is, but it's so cute. I'm actually gonna put it on top of the fish tank. I also stopped and got some punchos and I grabbed some batteries for my flashlight. I just got some cheap little controls. Batteries. Daddy, if you don't get your butt out of my room. Kids, I know you got my phone. Hopefully. Hopefully it works tomorrow. I should change the batteries out right now. Let me let me get my stuff together.
Okay, y'all, so I am, well, we are all packed up. I just need to grab the blanket that we're going to use to sleep with tonight and put that in the car. So I'm about to pack everything up in the car. I don't know why Mackenzie has McKenna sitting right here because she's not bringing her. So, yeah, I need to take all this off my bed. These are clean clothes that just need to be put away. And I need to pack, well... Y'all just saw Mackenzie was packing Dahlia's little bag, but I need to pack her food, and I also need to stop to the store to get her um, a few wet food packets. So that's what I'm about to do, pack up the car. Mackenzie is actually taking her bath right now because I don't know if I told y'all, but the place, the zoo, they don't have like showers. So this will be our last chance to take a shower before tonight. Well, no, I can take a shot at my parents' house when I drop that off. But oh, and we're also well, my mom is also boiling some crawfish, and then my sister and her husband they have a catering business and they're doing hibachi. I don't know if I told y'all, but they're doing hibachi plates today. So we ordered a plate. So yeah, we're about to go to my parents' house, drop that off, and while we're there, we're gonna have crawfish and hibachi. So y'all get into this fresh face. We doing fresh face because it's safari night. We gonna be outside. There's no need for any extras, and I don't, I don't need to be irritated. Okay, so fresh face it is. Oh, I do have a little bit of mascara, but y'all know I don't have no eyelashes for real, so it is what it is. But yeah, let me put this these things away, and I'll probably next time y'all see me, I'll probably probably be vlogging on my phone because i'm not taking this video recorder or this camcorder because first of all it says no flash photography in the rules for the zoo which i know this just means don't put it on flash but they're icky about electronics and stuff so i'm me busting up there with a whole camcorder it's just like outrageous so i'm just gonna bring my phone and vlog what i can vlog so yeah see y'all in a little bit i forgot to show y'all the um bag that i'm using i'm using this book sack that i bought from shein maybe two years ago two or three years ago and i really really wear this little book sack but it just seems fitting to bring it tonight so i can have my my stuff that i need to carry like punchos and stuff so yeah it came in handy and it's so cute so wearing it Oh, let me show y'all what else I'm wearing. Right now, I'm just wearing some black me, some brown joggers with my black shirt. And I'm going to put on my black workout shoes. And I'm going to switch into some biker shorts and a plain shirt because we, I bought, I purchased a shirt for the, um, for the Girl Scout group. So we all going to have the same shirt on. So I'll ch change into that once we get to the zoo. So, but this is what I have on right now. And I need to put my shoes on. I'll put my shoes on when I get ready to sleep. I literally had to sleep. So much people went to Chica, but only two. My mom's gonna pet a chinchilla. I'm gonna get out the way, baby. Oh my god. What if we put all the girls in a circle and let Vincent run around? Let what? Let Vincent run around. He's a cute baby boy. Grab a hand, chain link, and that's how we'll roll. Yeah. That way we all make sure we're staying at the same You are right. So Good let's job. go. Let's go. Find the two. And girls. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. I'm sorry. Yes, there it is. You got it. We were about to open your snack and this huge animal. Oh, Thank you. Wow. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I've been doing. No. Come on. 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 Come
Yeah, I crested, I think, that other bird in the background. They were fighting with the car cars over there. This is built to where he can completely ball up to protect himself from predators. Look at that. Oh, wow. The other armadillos are just now, what Max does... ...center, and the reason why he is blind is because he was hit by a car. Oh, no. People will... Look at me. You can pet him. Be careful. They're right there. Yeah, he's the one that gave us the um what what was it the yeah the clue last night hey guys so i am happy to report we are back home from our night at the at the zoo safari night um and i just want to come on here and give my little review give my little two cents so overall i'm going to give the uh, safari night at the baton ridge zoo a I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Um, it was really, really fun. And really totally different. I wasn't even aware that it was a thing until it was brought up as an option for the girls for rewards for meeting their cookie selling goals. And so, of course, um, Mackenzie is super excited. And I was um, super excited as well. And I would say after this trip, I do think that I could actually potentially go camping so i've never been camping but you guys know i've been wanting to go camping for a hot minute so i think i may be able to go camping the only downside 
was I think you truly get the safari experience because there were termites in our room like we were in this big like classroom setting and we ate there we um slept there as well and there's like lights and of course termites are attracted to light so every time someone will open a door the termites came inside so we pretty much slept with bugs <laughs> so that's the only downfall so that's why i gave it an 8 instead of a 10 out of 10 but i think it added to the safari experience um and yeah i also gave it a a eight because the zoo right now as it stands for safari night you don't have like showers you can use um but they are in the middle of renovating so they're like different phases they're reno renovating the zoo and it actually looks really really good i'm excited to go back um and our tour guide he said that they are not going to be completely finished until about five to six years from now so that's what 2030 so that's what they're shooting for but they're doing it in phases so they are going to open up two exhibits in the next two two to three weeks for the summertime um and one of them is the giraffe exhibit which i'm super excited about that because he showed us um he showed us and gave us a peep and it's going to be really really nice you're going to get a chance to feed the dress at like eye level like it's really really cool so I'm, I'm excited to go back and see that and what else so i'll put in a reel because i'm about to start working on a reel basically explaining everything that we did so basically we got there they showed us some animals we got to touch them they call ambassador animals um, so we got to touch them, learn all about them, ask questions, and then we went on a scavenger hunt, which that was personally my favorite part because we got to, we basically had the, um, the whole zoo to ourselves that night and we were able to see the animals because there's no lights in the zoo, like night lights, so we had to use flashlights. And you got to kind of see the animals in their, not in their natural habitat, but see them outside of regular zoo settings like you can see them at night and um like see how they're sleeping and uh, um they had some bobcats and the bobcats was nocturnal i think i said that right where they're very active at night so we got a chance to see them versus if we would go to the zoo in a the day they were asleep like this morning so we got to see them active at night so that was really really cool um so yeah but overall, I give it an 8 out of 10. Um, would I do it again? I don't think so. I think it's like a one and done type thing. It was an amazing experience. But I think once you've done it, like you've done it, there's nothing more that can amaze you at that point. So, yeah, I wouldn't do it again. But it was definitely an 8 out of 10 for me. The only thing with for me when they're renovating and if they're going to continue this program... Um, to make sure they add some showers and add like microwaves or something of that sort and i think they'll get like a lot more people to visit the zoo or do those group settings at night because it's really really fun so yeah that's that so today is sunday i am about to go ahead and end the vlog off here i told y'all we wasn't doing much this weekend that's all really we had planned and i'm about to go to sleep y'all i'm tired we didn't go to sleep last night until 12.30. And then the kids were watching a movie. We woke up at 6.45 this morning. Like, it's crazy. So, yeah. We're tired. And I'm about to go to sleep. Talk to y'all next weekend. And see what we up to. Bye. <laughs>